Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross Maths key skill video on solving a two-step equation. Now in the previous video where we solved one-step equations, we discussed the idea of equations being a balancing act. So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the same to the other. So if we added two to one side of the equation, we would have to add two to the other side of the equation. And the other idea is to try and get x gradually on its own. Now what I do is I like to think, well, what is the story of what's happening to x? We can see that x is being multiplied by 2, and then you're adding 7 to it. So we can think of it as like a number machine. Now, therefore, to get back to x, we need to do these in reverse order. So we would have to minus 7 first, and then we would have to divide by 2 to undo that times by 2. So you should think of it as undoing the last thing that happened to the variable. So that's the strategy. Undo the last thing that happened to the variable. So if we just copy that out again. We started with x, we times by 2, then we added 7 to it to get to 15. So now we have to work backwards. We have to subtract the 7 first to get rid of that plus 7. So remember, we do the opposite to get rid of it. We minus 7 from the left-hand side. But whatever we do to the left-hand side, we have to do the same to the right-hand side. So we minus 7. Now, if we minus 7 from the left-hand side, that cancels out the plus 7. Because plus 7 minus 7 is just 0. It just disappears. So we just have 2x here. And if we minus 7 from the right-hand side, we get 8. Now, x multiplied by 2 gave us 8. So we want to undo that multiplied by 2. What's the opposite of timesing by 2? Dividing by 2. So we divide the left-hand side by 2. We divide the right-hand side by 2. That just becomes x because the divide by 2 cancels out the times by 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And let's just check that. If we substitute 4 into the original equation, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 7 is 15. That's right. Let's do the second one. So we've got 3y minus 4 is 11. So let's undo stuff in reverse order. So y, it was multiplied by 3, then you subtracted 4. So the last thing we did on the left-hand side was subtract 4. So we want to get rid of the minus 4 first, doing the opposite, we add 4. And if we add 4 to the left-hand side, we have to add 4 to the right-hand side. Adding 4 to the left-hand side gets rid of the minus 4, leaving 3y. And adding 4 to 11 gives you 15. So we've undone the minus 4. Now we've got to get rid of that times by 3, so we're just left with y. If y was multiplied by 3, we undo the times by 3 by dividing by 3. So we also have to divide the right-hand side by 3. Dividing by 3 gets rid of the times by 3, leaving y. And 15 divided by 3 is just 5. So that is the final answer.